Hi guys, thanks so much for watching. Just a quick message to all of you guys who haven't heard yet, we are having a big Mapuai Squad giveaway. I'm flying you, yes, you, you, you out there, to the Philippines. For full contest details, be sure to read the description box. All right, and now to the vlog. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh, Mapuai Squad, OMG. Now, I was gone for a lot of yesterday, so it was at the LC, we left around 3 p.m. and we're gone till like nighttime when we came back, as you saw. But I am afraid that that disappearance might have stressed the Gaia. I don't know. Mubu High Squad, look at what I found at the bottom of the Gaia's coach this morning. Two adult feathers. All right, so I saw this. Obviously, I panicked. For those of you who are new to parrots, feather plucking is a very big problem. It affects about 10% of parrots. It can be uh, nutritional in origin, or it could be behavioral, or parrots who are like completely ignored and are depressed will pluck their adult feathers. These are adult feathers, guys. This is from her tail, though. Feathers, feather pluck their tail. This feather here looks pretty normal. Like, it doesn't look like she's been biting it with her beak, like the end of it, if you look carefully. But the other feather, this one looks like it's been bitten. But now I'm I'm unsure. So these are the two feathers I found. And I don't know, could she be molting or is she feather plucking? I'm gonna have to go online now. I promised myself, right guys, that I wouldn't be the panicky parent. So I won't panic just yet. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. All you parrot experts out there, what do you guys think? And tail feathers though? That's strange. I haven't heard of a parrot plucking tail feathers. I, I, I'm gonna go look online right now. All right, so apparently according to Wikipedia, it does seem like plucking of like tail feathers and like flight feathers is less common than say plucking chest feathers um, and like leg feathers. It could be diet related, like nutritionally related, like she's not getting enough nutrition. Um, but this parrot is totally eating pellets um, and eating all her veggies and fruits that were blending up so I don't know, I don't think it's that either. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the new pellets that um, she's on. Maybe she's having an allergic reaction to it or some kind of reaction to it. Hold on, I'm gonna do more research. All right, African Grey molting process. First molt. Your African Grey's first baby molt will begin. Um, his soft downy feathers will seem to come out all at once. Don't worry though. I remember that, remember that, my boy squad? When I freaked out, I thought she was feather plucking her down feathers. Okay, not worrying. Once your African Grey has completed his baby molt, he replaces worn out feathers every year or so, during which all his baby feathers should be replaced by adult feathers. Okay, a healthy bird will never shed more than one or two feathers at a time from each side of his body. Okay, so I guess I mean, they are the same size, so she's molting her tail feathers, guys. One from each side. I only found two, so if we find more, then I guess I can start to sort of panic. But okay, so to me right now, she's molting, hopefully. Uh, all you African Grey owners, what, did your birds first molt their tail feathers like this? And if she is molting, this is kind of like losing a first baby tooth, isn't it? I need to give her a gift from the feather fairy. I'm gonna keep the, these feathers. Her, your first molt. I hope it is anyway. Hey guys, are you molting? You're not depressed, are you? Hmm? You're not unhealthy. You're so healthy. How could you be feather plucking? I'm excited if you are molting. This is exciting. I remember when my last bird, Malaya, was molting. I found her feathers everywhere. You don't be plucking your beautiful feathers, okay? Don't be doing that. She just wants me to pet her every second of the day. Pet, pet, pet. That's all you want. Scratch, scratch, scratch. All day long. I give this bird all my love. Mm -hmm. Very, very good bird. So, if this bird is molting, um, her metabolic rate 
will rise as much as 30%. So she needs a lot of extra nutrition as her body is regenerating um, feathers. And uh, it's kind of a stressful time for birds, apparently. It's okay, Lee guys. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's looking up at me. Yes. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what's weird is... Apparently, it says... It usually starts with the outer wings. But she's molting her tail. Whatever is lost on the right side of the body is lost on the left side. That's just for symmetry. That makes sense. You don't want to lose all the wrong feathers at all at once. You know what I'm saying? Then you won't be able to fly. The inner wing feathers will follow. Next, the tail feathers onto the contour feathers and so on. So it does look like the tail feathers are kind of last, according to a couple sites that I've just read. But can they start to shed their tail first? Because that's what the guy is doing now. Either that or she's feather plucking. Okay, no, let's not go there with my with our thoughts. All right. You're not feather fucking, okay? No. Good afternoon. Yes. <laughs> We're going for our walk. It's like late in the afternoon now. It's lunchtime, I believe. The sun right now is so strong, very bright. Mm -hmm. Good for Legaya's feathers. Now, <laughs> was able to do more research this morning and I am kind of at ease with her losing feathers right now because it does seem like she is molting. Even though African greys typically molt their wing feathers first, I guess it's possible that Legai is special and she's molting her tail feathers first. Who knows? Apparently every parrot is different. All of you parrot experts out there, African Grey owners out there, let me know if I'm correct or if I'm just wrong and I should be worried. Uh, but she lost two feathers and she should continue to lose one or two feathers a day, which is okay. These adult feathers. But I believe her diet has to become more substantial just so she can produce better feathers or new feathers. Feathers are such an interesting thing. Can you guys imagine if we had like molting phases where our hair would all fall out in one season. Isn't that crazy? Now I remember with Malaya, there was just one season where Ate Elsie and I were sweeping, sweeping, sweeping because her feathers just continually would molt. You know what I mean? The down feathers, the adult outside feathers. Birds are really something. Okay, Ligaya, we are crossing the street. Gotta be careful. Hi. I don't know who that was, but they were saying hi to us. I love the sun, yes. Of course, for humans, this sunlight, the ultraviolet rays, right, help us manufacture our own vitamin D, which is great for our skin, our sight, our fingernails, hair, all of that, all of that great stuff. For birds, for Congo African greys, they produce a precursor of vitamin A um, from a gland above their tail and they, when they preen and groom themselves, they just spread this awesome vitamin A precursor throughout their body and the sunlight helps create beta-carotene, which is essential for their feathers. That's how sunlight benefits birds, well, African greys. Birds need sun. Of course, vitamin D3 is also essential for the absorption of calcium, which helps Legaya and I have strong bones. Mm -hmm. It's another way in which the sun helps our bodies. Okay, we're gonna cross the street here. By the way, if you're new to these vlogs, my name is Mikey Bustos. This is my young African gray parrot, Legaya. We are living here in Manila, Philippines. The guy, you're so funny. Seriously. <laughs> and she's really vocal, as you can see. I do feel like when this bird is fully matured, she will be such a talker. That, I love that whistle. I taught that to her when she was young. Um, and be sure to hit this like button of this video uh, if you enjoyed. Um, as you guys know, we are running an ongoing Christmas contest for our subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, you don't qualify. Basically this year, guys, on Christmas Day, we are going to be live announcing one of you who will be winning 
round trip tickets to the Philippines. That's right. Can you believe it? Round trip tickets to the Philippines. So no matter what country you're in, we'll fly you here. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is save up like your spending money. You know, you know what I'm saying? Your lodging money. We also have like gift certificates and stuff that you can use, spa, restaurant, all of that while you're here. Um, it's really a cool treat. And if you are from the Philippines, and you have relatives, say like your mom or dad, OFW relatives uh, in other countries. We will fly them here if you win. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about that expense because flight is so expensive into the Philippines these days. And trust me, you think you saw a beautiful beach in the Caribbean or Mexico or wherever you guys normally go? Wait till you come to the Philippines, guys. Wow, 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 wow. So be sure to play. Of course, you guys know the rules. In order to play, there's gonna be a hidden question somewhere in this vlog, and you need to answer it in the comments um, as soon as you see it. And then on Christmas Eve, RJ and I are going to choose 10 of you guys who played, and we're gonna draw from a little hat or something to announce who will win. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to use the hashtag Mabuhay Squad Fly 2019. Yes. Legaya, we're gonna give one of your godparents a free flight to here, to the Philippines. I love giving away free stuff and giving gifts away. It's, it's the best. Last year we gave away 100,000 pesos to a lucky Mabuhay Squad winner and she ended up using it for her home business, which is great. And by the way, all of you abroad who are in research mode right now, who are excited about this Christmas giveaway, um, and you've never been to the Philippines, look up Mikey Bustos Boracay, or Mikey Bustos Puerto Galera, or Mikey Bustos Palawan, or if you really want to splurge, Mikey Bustos Amanpulo. I recommend those four beaches. There are thousands and thousands of beaches all over the Philippines, but those are the ones that I recommend if you do come here and fly here and if you win. Research those. You'll see those vlogs. Some of, a lot of them are in season one. For all you Filipino Mabuhay squad, leave some recommendation for Philippine beaches in the comment section. For those who are excited about this contest and who want to do some research mm -hmm, as to what beaches this country offers. Or if not beaches, whatever this country offers because there are so many tourist attractions here. Chocolate Hills, even Baguio is a tourist attraction in itself. So many things. All right guys, recording for Ants Canada now. Yes, with the mic. I've brought Ligaya along. She likes to be included in the same room as me while I'm working on Ants Canada. <laughs> okay, here we go. Opening my script, which I spent all day yesterday writing. AC family, I do this for you. Please stop honking outside. We won't have this in the farm, this problem. We'll have a proper, legit recording studio. You know what I'm saying? At the Mobile High Squad home. I don't have to worry about this. We may have to worry about roosters, but with the recording studio, that should be all right. All right, let's try this. Check, 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 one, two, three. Check, 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 one, two, three. Our new goddess lays motionless on her back, protected within her silken layer, with her legs dangling in the air. Look at our bird eating her pellets and seeds. Mm-hmm. So good. Proud of you, the guys. All right, while she's chewing on that hot pepper, today, day two, have not seen any um, feathers. No tail feathers, no wing feathers. So, I don't know, I guess she's molting very gradually if she is molting at all. But based on websites I've read, they all say that the wing feathers molt first. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe the guy's is special, but if she is molting, it's starting with her tail. Aww. I'm just working here on Ants Canada, editing my video, and she flew to me. Why? Because she wanted to gnaw <laughs> on my head bones and gnaw on my ear. Yes. Yes, and she just wants little scratches. Scratch, 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 scratch. All day long. Scratch, scratch, scratch. All day long. 
Okay, she's she's angry because I'm not doing it properly. Okay, okay. I'll use both hands. Yes. Look at this. Look at this. You're so spoiled, bird. Seriously. Seriously. I'm here trying to work. Mm, and you're distracting me. Whoa, what? Whoa. You're distracting me. Mm -hmm. You got food on your beak. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. You're, you're at least. I'm so happy you're at, you're at least um <laughs> I'm happy you're at least um weaned. Yes, I'm happy about that. Okay, w what are you doing? Seriously. <laughs> Why are you so chatty all of a sudden? Are you a cat? Meow. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Huh? Oh. Are you talking to me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my. What? Scratch? See how chatty she is? She gets in these moods where she's just chatty, chatty, chatty. And look, you, you stained my shirt. You wipe your beak on my shirt. <laughs> what? You're just too much, this bird. <laughs> I messed your hair up. Messed your hair up. You got perch head. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, at the show a couple of days ago, you guys were so kind, uh, for those of you who came, um, you guys came from like different places, it was incredible. Even someone from Australia, yeah. And I'm going through all of your gifts now. It's incredible. Uh, okay, first of all, I see a hat. <laughs> awesome, I definitely need this so that I don't get sunburn on my head. Love it. T-shirts, look at that, okay, T-shirts. Koala, yes, thank you. I love this. Uh, Australia, okay, like Australia gear to the max. I love Sydney, I do love Sydney. My boy squad from Sydney, represent, yes. There is so much, um, oh, a kangaroo. This is so cute, mm. The guy is gonna love this, but I'm not gonna let her chew it. And guys, look, Vegemite. Awesome, I'm gonna, vitamin B. Do you guys know Vegemite? If you don't, oh man, it's very good. Just don't put a lot on your crackers, just a little tiny bit. Mmm. Um, and oh my gosh. Guys, the ultimate right now. So I haven't had cheesecake, but for some reason, lately, I have this new addiction. And I think a lot of you guys would be able to relate to this. Mabuhay squad, I am now addicted to 